Hey, I'm Taryn and I'm the vaccine mom. I'm a mother of two and I'm a molecular biologist. So I wanna talk about aluminum. Aluminum is in our bodies all the time and that's because it's in things that we eat, the water that we drink, things that we put on our bodies all the time, stuff that we touch in our homes. It's even found in our breast milk because it's in our bodies all the time and it's an infant formula. So sometimes it's in our vaccines. It's there because it helps our, our body create a stronger immune response to the germ that's in that vaccine. That means that our kids get to get fewer boosters for those stronger vaccines, less visits to the doctor. It's been in our vaccines since the 1930s, which is great because we have really good safety data on this. It's in such trace amounts in our vaccines that it's the amount that's in a vaccine is equal to the amount that's in an entire liter of infant formula. That's so small. And because our babies see aluminum all the time in our bodies, it's no different from the aluminum that's in the vaccines. The CDC and the FDA are constantly monitoring all of the ingredients that are in vaccines, including aluminum. So we know that it's safe and effective. Here's the thing. Aluminum wouldn't be there if we didn't need it to be there. It's important and it's really good for creating a really good, strong vaccine. So if you want to learn more about aluminum or any other ingredient that's in vaccines, head on over to Vaccinate Your Family's Vaccine Ingredient webpage.